welcome back to Nails by Jen. So in this video today, I'm going to be doing another Valentine's Day set. But in this one, I'm going to be using this heart glitter that I got from Glitter Bells. It's super cute. It's called Holiday Romance. It's not your typical Valentine's Day colors, but it is really vibrant and bright and I just, I love it. Then I'm going to be going in with Hidden Pleasure from Valentino Beauty Pure. I absolutely fell in love with their com this company. I love their um, cover collection. Um, but I'm gonna be ombreing the two, so I'm gonna start with Holiday Romance from Glitter Bells. I'm gonna be doing that at the tip, and then fading in um, Hidden Pleasure from Valentino. And just doing an ombre on my pointer finger and my middle finger. So to save some time, because I know you guys don't want to be sitting here watching this video all day, I've already applied my extensions. I just like to go in with the gel nails from Enel Couture, it's the 123 Go system. I really like this system because I don't ever keep my nails on really long and it just soaks off really easily. Um, but that's all I did. I haven't went in with a clear or anything, um, just going directly over the gel nail with the acrylic. And everything that I will be using in this video today, I will have linked down in the description box below. Uh, this acrylic brush is one of my favorites. It's from Enel Couture as well. I'm obsessed with this company. I have so many things from uh, Enel Couture. It's, it's crazy. But uh, this is the number 13 uh, acrylic brush. And then the monomer that I'm using is from Mia Secret. I really like their monomer. It works really well with different companies acrylic um, but there is more that I'm wanting to try I just want to finish this bottle first um, but yeah I'm gonna do that on my pointer and my middle finger and then I will come back and explain what I do on my ring and pinky and thumbnail So I know somebody's probably going to see this and point it out. My natural nail are really damaged. They are healed right now, but there's a lot of scarring and redness and certain things under my actual nail. So these nails that I have on, I just glued them on and there's no damage done to my natural nail. They only last about a week anyways. So I just soak them off and then there is nothing getting pulled or anything like that to my natural nail. So that is all it is. I actually have to stay away from gel for a little while as I'm severely allergic to certain ones and I just don't want to try anything new at the moment. So this is why you see me putting acrylic over an already sculpted nail. I don't want any of the acrylic going on my natural nail right now. So uh, my ring finger, I'm going to go in with High Crush. This is the Crush collection from Glitter Bells. I'm obsessed with the uh, glitters from her. I, I love them. They're super cute. They're really shiny and they have so many different colors in it, but they just paired really well together. Um, I'm just going to be doing a thin layer of that on my entire ring finger. So I'm gonna let you guys continue watching and then I will jump back in and explain what I'm doing. Uh, I don't wanna talk you guys' head off this time, <laughs> so I'm just trying to make it short and simple. So with my pinky finger and my thumb, I'm going to go in with iGel Beauty's 
dip and dab uh, good kisser this acrylic some of their acrylics are kind of hard uh, they marble with monomer but this one oh my gosh you guys it is perfect with monomer it is so smooth it's so pigmented there is no marbling whatsoever this is like one of my all-time favorite colors from iGel beauty it is so bright and it goes on like butter with monomer Even for me, like look at how bright this is. I don't even like pink. Pink is not my color at all, not even a neon pink. But you guys, this is the perfect summer color. It is freaking gorgeous. I'm sorry, but I just cannot get over how well these colors look together. This is like screaming summer and I'm so excited. So after I get done laying down the thin layer of color, I'm gonna cap every nail in clear. And I'm trying out Valentino's Crystal Clear. And let me just tell you, it is clear and I, I love it. I'm so glad that I got a sample size of it in my cover collection because I definitely think I'm going to be purchasing some more.
So going in with my normal filing routine, after everything is said, I'm gonna be using this new file that I got. It came in like a pack of 20, I think, from Amazon, and I'm really liking them. They're really coarse, they're really straight, they're thick, so they don't bend or, or anything. I really, really like these. So if you guys are looking for nail files, to try if you can't find your regular ones, definitely give these a go and they're really big so they're comfortable to hold in the hand. Uh, I will leave all of this link down below. So I am just reshaping all of the nails and then I'm gonna go in with my tapered, really coarse, I think it's like extra coarse uh, ceramic bit. When I tell you guys this bit is very sharp and if you are a newbie with the drill or e-file, Please be careful around your cuticles. I was going so fast with this night. This drill bit cut my cuticles up so bad. It works really good. It doesn't get heat spikes or anything like that, but it is very sharp. So I recommend if you are not comfortable with this bit yet, please use it at a really low speed around your cuticles. Um, I was going in super fast, didn't even realize how sharp it really was and cut myself all up. But when I tell you it works amazing with acrylic and removing bulk, it, it really does do just that. So once I do this, I'm gonna go over all of the nails and just clean them up. And then I am going to go in and buff, which is my favorite part. I really could sit and buff all day long. I am using the Smoothie Buffer from Enel Couture. I love these as well. Um, they're really comfortable and they just, they last a while. And because I only use them on myself, they just, they're amazing. So definitely check out Enel Couture's um, files and drill bits and they just, they have some amazing products. So here I'm just wiping away the dust. I like to do this just to make sure I have everything as clean and neat like I want it before I wipe everything off. I know it makes no sense, but that's why I do that. I just like to go in and, and make sure I have it shaped and everything and how I want it. And then I go in and clean everything up with some alcohol and a lint-free wipe. And I'm gonna go in with my base and top coat. The base gel that I'm using is from iGel Beauty. It's just the regular base gel, and then I'm gonna go in with the No Cleanse top coat. I'm gonna cure each layer in my Pro Lamp from iGel Beauty as well. Uh, I cure them for about 30 to 60 seconds, just depends on my mood that day. And I'm going to let everything cool and then go in with cuticle oil. But that's it you guys, I'm done with this set. I'm not adding anything else to it, I'm leaving it how it is. I love these colors, it's just scream summer to me. And I'm all for it, I'm so excited to do these really bright, neon, glittery summer sets. And I just, I, I cannot wait. But uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun creating this video. I really love doing this set, like I wanna do more. Um, 
I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. I hope I gave you guys some ideas on things to try out and purchase because I love these companies that I've mentioned. I have so many products from them and they definitely are really, really amazing. And they also take Afterpay as well. The only one that doesn't I think is Glitter Bells, but it's definitely, you will not be disappointed at all. Her glitters are amazing. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me over on Instagram. It is at Nails by Jen. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, day or night, whenever you are watching. And I hope to see you guys in my next video.